when it comes to urban city runabouts, nothing beats having the convenience of a scooter at your fingertips and at your disposal. And although electric scooters are all the rage and a current hot topic in today's world, well, IC scooters, in particular 110cc scooters, still have a special place in our market and in our hearts because, yes, uh, a lot of people still rely on them to go about their daily business. And Hero Motor Corp has just last month introduced this new 110cc scooter. This is the Zoom. This is the top end variant uh, that we're going to be testing out today. And how does it fare against the established competition? Well, scooters that have been around for more than a couple of years, uh, if you go to see the one to my left, immediate left, is the TBS Jupiter, this is the Smart X Connect, and we also have the Honda 8 Smart uh, Activa 110cc. So, how does this new scooter fare in competition uh, against some very established competition out here on the market? Well, stick around to find out. In terms of its design, the Hero Zoom is undoubtedly the most radical 110cc scooter in India today. There are cuts, creases and contours all over this thing. It's hard to miss the H-shaped DRL up front with its LED headlamp. The diamond cut alloy wheels, that funky tail lamp mimicking the design from the front, all very sleek and modern. It's definitely going to appeal to your youthful side. In contrast, you tend to miss the Honda and the TVS if they went past you out on the road and if you weren't paying close attention because they pretty much exude the basic shape and design of scooters that we've grown accustomed to over the course of time, save for some catchy colour schemes. Now TVS has tried to keep things fresh with the Jupiter Smart Connect with dual tone paint jobs, some shiny bits and even a tiny backrest for the pillion rider. Honda has done pretty much more or less the same and has even thrown on some new alloy wheels and keyless ignition tech to its fan favourite of for almost 20 years, the Activa. Storage space is a key factor for any scooter. It's pretty much one of the reasons you'd want one in the first place. And all three of the scooters out here have enough storage space to put away a proper half-face helmet under their respective seats. But the Activa is the only one of the three that doesn't have a storage area behind the front apron. Now, this is no deal killer, but it's definitely a feature that Honda could have thrown on there for good measure. The Activa 8 Smart is also the only one of the three that features a smaller 10-inch rear wheel in comparison to the 12 inches at the back of the other two. And it also doesn't get a disc brake up front, not even as an optional extra. That's because Honda only offers front disc brake variants on its 125cc scooters and above, out here in India at least. Now the biggest downside to the Hero's design is that the cubby holes on the apron, well they eat away at legroom and parcel storage space. Also, I'm not too convinced by that oddly located USB charging socket either. Convenience is the name of the game with any scooter and its features that it comprises are going to make or break them. Even though the three scooters out here are the latest units that to hit the Indian streets, the display units of all three ICE scooters are still nowhere close to the fancy touchscreen and TFT color displays that we've seen on some of their electric equivalents. But that doesn't mean they lack other modern features. The Honda still gets the old school analog display that reads out speed, odometer and level of fuel. And although I quite like it because it's like the machine's way of mechanically conveying that data to you, not all will fancy the simplicity of this sort of display in the modern era. The Zoom and Jupiter both get fully digital instrumentation screens with Bluetooth connectivity and turn-by-turn -turn navigation features. The Zoom also gets a handy real-time mileage indicator, which is always a pleasure to see on the go, while the Jupiter goes one step above the ordinary with its voice command system that lets you access certain functions like navigation and call logs. Although, how important a feature is that last bit on a scooter of this sort is debatable. Now, the Honda Activa 110 has been around for more than 20 years, but this model has been upgraded. This is the top-end Honda Activa 110cc H Smart. So basically, it has been on the receiving end of some new tech in the form of keyless ignition. And yes, this new key where you don't re really require the key you don't have to slot it into an ignition anymore. You just have to press a button to unlock it or you can find your bike in a parking lot by pressing another button. And of course, the USPs of this bike have to be, well, first and foremost, the 12 inch wheel up front. And it's an alloy wheel to begin with because uh, previously all the older Activas, well, they only had steel wheels. And this model in particular from these three scooters is the only scooter to, uh, to have a 12 inch front and a 10 inch rear wheel. 
The Zoom GSP has to be its cornering lights, which light up the road when you tilt the scooter into a corner. Yes, it's the first scooter of this displacement category to get this feature, but honestly, it isn't very helpful in poorly lit scenarios because first of all, you're not going to be carrying that much momentum on the scooter into a corner to really see or need to see all that much. And secondly, well, the headlight works pretty well and you don't really need that part of the road illuminated as it does. What's more useful though is the company's i3s tech that turns the scooter off when you come to a halt for more than a couple of seconds. Don't fancy that too much, well, the system can be turned off completely by flipping a switch on the handlebar. The Jupiter, likewise, gets the same Intelligo integrated start-stop tech, while the Honda misses out on this tech completely. Now, moving on to the TVS Jupiter Smart Connect, well, as its name suggests, this scooter incorporates, well, TVS's Smart Connect display and voice activation feature. So, this scooter, well, Unlike the others, you have the option of uh, activating your turn-by-turn -turn navigation and you can also use the voice activation where you can command the scooter to search for directions and display it up on your screen via the app via connecting it through your phone. Also, this scooter comes with pillion backrest as part of the top end variant package, the Smart Connect package, in addition to the external fuel filler lid, which can be accessed like the underseat storage via the key through the ignition slot. The TBS app also gives you access to a lot more data and information on your scooter compared to the others and is a whole lot easier to get used to as well. The Hero Zoom feels light and is very easy to manage in the city. And having the best turning radius of the lot out here felt very handy while trying to wriggle past traffic at a standstill. The Honda and the TBS require a little more of a calculated effort with that regard. The Hero's 110.9cc single cylinder mill feels very lively and responsive. It performed commendably well up steep inclines in the neighborhood. But one thing it lacked is that level of refinement compared to the butter smooth 109.5cc Honda engine and TVS's 109.7cc air cooled motor. Well, that difference was very evident from the moment I set off. The Honda and the Hero have identical power to weight figures and feel reasonably quick getting from 0 to 60 in just under 10 seconds. And the Jupiter, well, it doesn't feel far off the mark either. Accelerating from 40 to 60 km per hour to execute an overtake feels a lot cleaner with the TVS, and that's mainly down to the smoothness of its way of functioning. The Honda and the TVS appear to breathe a lot cleaner than the Zoom, which often sounds a little stressed, overly stressed at that, and there are times when this audibly sounds like you're really going for it when you really aren't. And it's that level of refinement that you learn to appreciate over time while riding the Activa and the Jupiter. In terms of suspension, all three scooters out here get a telescopic fork up front and a single spring-loaded hydraulic damper unit at the rear. The seating arrangement on all three of them feels very comfortable and accommodating as well, even with two astride. But in all honesty, a little more than an hour and a half, say, of saddle time at a stretch on any of these three is just about doable. The Zoom and the Jupiter feel a lot more nimble compared to the Activa, which is a bit of a surprise, once you consider the fact that the Honda has the smallest wheelbase of the three, and also it's a good 4kg lighter than the other two, which both weigh 109kg's curb. The Honda suspension feel best setup for casual city speed riding of about 40 to 50 kmph and the faster you go well the more you'll miss having a 12 inch wheel at the back because you do tend to feel a lot more of the smaller sharper bumps in the road on the activa the zoom suspension on the other hand is set up stiffer and it does feel a lot more engaging to ride with a good amount of feedback from the extremely light front end it all goes well in sync with Hero's overall sporty design theme. But it's not the most comfortable scooter from these three at low speed. It's stiff enough for you to find it very unforgiving when things get lumpy out of the road. The Jupiter, on the other hand, is by far the best in terms of ride quality. Now, Mumbai's roads are currently abundant with surprises and the amount of road work going on, well, it's horrendous. From surprise gravel sections, to oversized speed breakers and extremely dusty and broken patches of road, 
well the tvs just feels so composed and balanced and allowed me to get through it all with the least amount of effort and that's something i really appreciated it tended to feel a lot more confident on the brakes with the jupiter as well it just feels a lot more relaxed and easy to ride and that little backrest for the pillion well who would have thought it is actually quite a good thing to have now the something's up with a comparison test out here today let's begin with the honda activa 8 smart well it still seems to be lacking a certain amount of features that i'd like to have seen on a scooter of the sort given its price uh, given that scooters elsewhere in the market come with those features as standard yes it is frugal of course it has the bulletproof engine and reliability working on its side but unfortunately on this test well it seems to miss out a bit moving on to the hero zoom well this scooter will set you back by 97000 rupees on road mumbai and yes in terms of design aesthetics well it is a real standout it is a real winner there no question about that and in terms of features it does pack a good amount of features a good amount of storage space and it is the most agile of the three scooters out here today but yes if you're of an elderly generation you're not going to feel very comfortable riding this one which gets us over to our winner in this comparison test which is the Jupiter Smart Connect uh, the top end variant now this is the most expensive scooter it it will cost you around 1 lakh 6000 rupees on road mumbai currently and yes given the amount of features that it holds it's really frugal it has the best mileage it is the most comfortable scooter to ride the most easiest to maneuver uh, in traffic as well well it just is a well rounded of package and hence it is the winner of our test